And there's, there's, I, I've been through a lot of these situations where the company may have been like a Capital One. Um, you know, I was pulled into a lot of Fortune 500 or very large enterprise incidents where the company has the right technology. They have the name brand, everything, the name brand, EDR, IDS, like, you know, WAFs, all the, the firewalls. They have all the things, but it's, their teams are so siloed that, and powerless in their silo. So they're not able to help with the response. And so a lot of times a SOC who is actually powerless to respond is almost just a waste of people. So I've been in, in many cases where the SOC is saying, you're under attack. We see this going on against these machines. These are the alerts. And you see that the alerts from the SOC are just getting progressively worse. They're, <laughs> the, the attack is escalating. The, the SOC is signaling to the rest of the company, like, you're on fire. Please, <laughs> please, you know, start containing these machines, things like that. But the SOC is actually powerless to make those changes. Uh, just lack of collaboration, la lack of integration, lack of playbooks, lack of, you know, nobody's actually run through an IR exercise to realize that the SOC actually can't do anything when there is an incident. Um, they have the monitoring telemetry, but they don't have access to the systems they need to access in order to actually respond. 